Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I just want to talk about what I've been using with the Mad Max plotter to reach my 35 minute plot times. It's not Optane, it's not RAM, it's just something that I am able to use now because of the Mad Max plotter. But uh, in terms of performance and cost, it's a really good option. So I always wanted an Intel Optane SSD, but it was always totally out of my budget. I ended up getting this thing called a Samsung ZET983. And it's something that Samsung created to compete with the Intel Optane. But the performance is not as good and it never really took off for them. So I think they ended up discontinuing this SSD. And that's when I was able to snatch one up for a very good price. I got it for just under $400. If you look here around at the end of 2019, you can see that the price just started plummeting and I ended up getting it around here just under $400. So how is this great for plotting if it's worse than the Optane? It is worse than the Optane in most metrics. So if you look here on this article, uh, latency performance is pretty much Intel wins here, Intel Optane wins. In random performance, Intel Optane wins. But in sequential performance, it does better than the Intel Optane. So, and because of the great sequential performance, I think it's perfect for plotting. I did say it is discontinued, so availability wise, it's a little tough to get. And the only place you could really get it for a really decent price is on eBay and is coming from China or from Hong Kong here. But if you look into this one, um, these sellers are pretty good. They're 99% feedback. So you're, you're not getting a bad SSD or a ripoff. So these are legitimate SSDs. It's not like uh, I'm telling you to go get it from wish.com. So um, these these sellers are pretty legitimate, and I, I would if I if I needed another one, I would buy it from here. Um, you can see it here too. This one has ninety five thousand feedback, and it's ninety nine percent positive. So I think these are very trustworthy sellers. So it is expensive for four hundred eighty gig. It's three hundred eighty six dollars. It's expensive in terms of how much um, gigabytes you're getting, but these things are 7,400 terabytes written. So that's that's a lot. If we compare a 980 Pro 2 terabyte, this thing has way more than 980 Pro 2 terabyte. If we compare how many plots a ZET SSD could do, it could do 5,700 plots versus a 980 Pro that could do about 923. And I'm using 1.3 TBW per plot. Um, if you're using a 128 gigabyte of RAM um, to plot, 75% of it will go to the RAM and 25% will go to SSD. So if that's the case, you're getting 3600 on a 980 Pro 2 terabyte. But if you break this down to dollars per plot, so I took the lowest price of a 980 Pro 2 terabyte in the last two months. It's three forty nine ninety nine. Um, if you don't use RAM, it's thirty eight cents per plot. If you use RAM, it's about nine cents. But this one you get for seven cents. In terms of speed, this is fifty seven minutes, and I'm not sure what the speed is here. I think it's pretty close to this. Someone does have this very similar setup on uh, Reddit where they had a Threadripper and they were able to get it about 30 minutes with the 980 pro and 128 gigabytes of ram um but right now the price is like let's say 429.99 right and that'll bring the cost a lot higher so this is very cost effective uh obviously the one caveat is buying it from ebay i know that not everyone is comfortable about buying things on ebay but just looking at the feedback here, I think these are pretty legitimate drives and it's a really good option for for plotting. It's a really good performance wise and cost wise 
if you're open to getting these SSDs from eBay. And also Optane drives are super expensive, so it's, it's definitely above these costs for sure. All right, that's it folks. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope this will help you guys and I'll see you on the next one.